This is called the addition. The addition for the troop elevation pillow, it adds on to the base unit, the base unit elevation pillow here, and it's addition like so. This was the suggestion from the UT Southwestern group, uh, UT Southwestern Houston, who reported to me that they routinely take care of five, six, and 700 pound patients. Fortunately, in my practice, uh, I've only made it up to a little over 500 pounds at this point. But their suggestion was, please, could you make us a larger elevation pillow? What we did was make it modular so that the addition is meant to line up uh, exactly with the troop elevation pillow, its base unit. It's still designed to be used with a head cradle. And as a guideline, this was developed for patients with a body mass index of greater than 50, or in other words, by definition, a super morbidly obese patient or on average, as a guideline, a patient that's greater than 450 pounds. Quinton at 6364, our model patient today, a little over 300 pounds. Generally speaking, the two set, which is the base unit elevation pillow and its head cradle, that's all that's needed. Again, the three set, head cradle, the addition, troop elevation pillow, base unit, is really for the super morbidly obese patient. And again, as you can see, it nicely isolates the head and neck. The abdomen is falling away from the patient's diaphragm. It makes it easier for the patient to breathe. The three airway axes are starting to align.